Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land, Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Last run, quite a slog, but we made it work. Oh my god, we're starting with Dad's Key again. Really good rate of fire, damage stat seems good. V9, VD, T7, JM, and uh, Evil Eye, Dad's Key. Well, the good news is, I'm recording this literally like a minute and a half after the last one ended, so I should be relatively warmed up for Dad's Key. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm taking such a weird, like, serpentine pattern here, it's... Well, first off, you can't really get serpentine in an XY grid-based game like this when you can't walk diagonally, but either way, um... Ooh, Guppy Zed. I'm happy to have the Guppy item. I was thinking maybe we might get lucky and find a secret room that borders the curse room. Obviously, that's not gonna happen. Uh... Not a big deal. We traded a spirit heart for a penny. I can live with it. And I think we really should shoot all the poops early in the hopes of getting... You know, I well, let me put it this way. I'm just wary about how the last run went, and I don't want to have a repeat. Which is how you say the word repeat, if you're self-conscious about it, I suppose. I don't want a repeat of what happened on the last run, where things were slightly dicey. I want to take every available advantage as it stands. I was actually thinking this would be a second secret room, but regular secret room is fine as well. 2 HP is okay. I'd certainly rather have 2 HP and this level of DPS, which is at least adequate, versus the last run where we had 3 HP and Lazarus, but, you know, couldn't get shit done, so I don't mind this. Do we want to buy a Spirit Heart from our shop? Considering we can get in for free, the answer is probably yes, but I do want to find the second secret room as well, so we have an Eternal Heart in there. Let's not make the same mistake we made last time and just lose this. We will get one more... Uh, Dad's key play here. By the way, we got Sworn Protector. Mostly, I think Sworn Protector is good as an enabler for Beelzebub at this point. I mean, it also means that if you take damage against a boss, you're slightly less likely to take more damage because you can kill them faster with this, but it's it's not very good. And we're going to be going up against Ragman because Ragman is the only boss that exists on the first floor at this point in time. Uh, we may have gotten the double damage there that I was talking about in the last game, where if he creates a head and you use a bomb before the head explodes, don't you actually find yourself in a situation where you've hit him twice? And we're doing well so far. All we gotta do is not get hit three times towards the back end of the fight. Evil Eye, by the way, you might be saying, why isn't he talking about Evil Eye? Talk about Evil Eye. I think Evil Eye is largely pretty underwhelming um, until you can guarantee yourself not even like a high proportion, but a high frequency of Eagle Eye plays. So, if we can get Soy Milk, I think Evil Eye is actually uh, substantially better than it otherwise would be. Um, I'm not sure if the spawning of Eagle Eyes, or sorry, Evil Eyes, is based on our luck stat or something. But if it is, obviously I'd be stoked to make that happen as much as possible. And we should be basically done with this fight. What a difference it makes to have some DPS. Got the Halo. Every morning there's a halo in the first boss room if you fight Ragman adequate. I don't think we want the Spirit Heart right off the bat. I want to have, especially with 3 HP, I want to have a chance to get to the arcade on the next floor. I know that that's a big risk, but I think our DPS is high enough that we could probably avoid taking uh, dumb damage down here. And there's our arcade. And I was going to say that immediately we take dumb damage, but thankfully we managed to get ourselves out of it. And the Halo is uh, really like the perfect, adequate early game pickup. Nothing wrong with that at all. Gives us something in every single category. Please get away from me. Get a two of clubs. I think that's pretty valuable in and of itself as well. All right. No luck upgrades, much to my surprise. But at the same time, 16 cents is enough to uh, make our shop worthwhile, and with one key and Dad's key, you would be expecting that that's uh, something that should be in the cards for us. 17 cents. Still waiting on the luck upgrades, but that's okay. Well, that was extremely close, but we made it out. And our item room contains the glowing hourglass. Basically, I'm not going to take spacebar items. Um, you might think that this is because I want to fight Mega Satan due to some misguided sense of pride or zaniness or blah blah blah, but really it's, uh, I, I think that's part of it, admittedly, but Dad's Key is also pretty useful, like, it's as useful basically, in my opinion, as having, like, the blue map, at the very least, and sure, it takes up an active item slot, but, uh, could be worse. Oh, we'll definitely take Chaos, and we probably should have done this in reverse, um, well, let's... Fested per throw, two of clubs, pop two of clubs, go with this. Like, we should have gotten Steam Sale first, but, um... 
I'm happy to have chaos. It's going to be weird. And I'm a fan of that. I know I said I wanted the arcade as well, but that was before um, we realized that the arcade was going to show up on the same floor that had Curse of the Unknown. So I figure maybe we just won't mess with it for now. Maybe we'll save that arcade business for the next floor. We've got a guaranteed deal with the devil coming here. That's great news. Uh, we'll definitely open this. We have golden chests. Okay, I think, honestly, that's a, as good of an opportunity to use Perthrow as any. Uh, we got Awaz. I wouldn't reroll Bumbo. Unless we did it by accident, but we got Dagaz there. Uh, let's get Bumbo. And even though we get bombs for our money, I think it makes sense to give Bumbo the money wherever possible. We get a pin fight. Not, not really a problem here, except I took damage, hilariously enough. Hilarious might be a little bit of a strong word for the, you know, mildly amusing situation that just happened there, but it is hilarious conceptually. Alright, we got a little closer to Beelzebub with Lost Fly, another item that basically just exists to enable Beelzebub in my opinion. 48 hour energy, bombs are key, relax, one makes you small, and another bombs are key pill. Well, I think we'll take Awaz because we can use it as a teleporter for boss rush, and after the last run I'm, I'm fairly interested in making something like that happen, but... No curse. This is good because Curse of the Blind could actually uh, be somewhat bad for us because we have chaos. So we really would just have no idea what could possibly show up. So remember, for now, money goes to Bumbo. Max level Bumbo. Nothing wrong with that. But this run is certainly... It feels a lot stronger than our last run. It, f it feels almost as strong as our last run ended, which is foolish because the last run ended extraordinarily strong. But... Um, I do feel uh, much more empowered on this one early on. Probably not the best place to use Dad's key, now that I think about it, but a great place to use a bomb. And probably some money in there. No money in there, but an Eternal Heart? Okay, I'll take it. Oh my god, I totally forgot to take the Eternal Heart on the second floor. <sighs> First mod I make for Afterbirth Plus. When you go to go down to a floor, this is sarcastic, by the way. When you when you are about to go down to the floor, it says, Hey, you left behind an eternal heart. Is that intentional? Dumbass! And we'll call it the Northern Lion Warning. It's like an Amber Alert, but, you know, much less lose all your faith in society inducing. Oh, well. One HP probably doesn't matter uh, a whole lot in the whole scheme of things. I just want to check this out first. We didn't do any damage to those guys, really, so I don't mind uh, knocking this out. Two pills. Infested, four bombs for three spiders, and a luck upgrade. And actually, that luck upgrade could be super good. Again, I don't know if the luck is what indicates uh, our chances of spawning an evil eye. And even then, you know, evil eye, maybe not the most amazing pickup in the world to begin with, even if it does get activated, but still, this is going to be better for us uh, in, a in a number of different avenues. I think luck is becoming increasingly relevant, in my playstyle at least. Or at least I'm noticing how important it, it, it actually is. Finally, after... Probably after playing a lot of Gungeon, actually, and being like, Hey, the coolness stat is real important here. So we can't get out of this room if we choose to go through with it. So we might want to, uh, you know, play cute with it. And use uh, Awaz to get out of here after we fight the boss. It's a golden chest. And really, like, a golden chest is just a higher quality regular chest at this point because it will cost us a key but we're using so many less keys as a result of dad's key that uh you know we can we can probably afford to get all those keep getting smaller here i want to be smaller than bumbo makes sense to use uh dad's key before we finish the floor or before we finish the room i should say see i get confused because the floor is the unit of time for which you know the game makes steps in but a room also has a floor. That's what's confusing. Should have let Bumbo take that. Uh, a Thame is in there. But I don't think a Thame is particularly useful. So, I, I mean, first off, I don't have the money for it. But secondly, even if I did, I don't think it's uh, absurdly useful. And then we have Mom's uh, coin purse, which is also not really going to blow the doors off anything here. We don't have a bomb. We haven't been to our item room. So we've slowed down a little bit on this floor, but I'm not uh, overly concerned. Find our item room. There we go. And since we have chaos, I guess I'm hoping for Guppy, but we'll see. 99 bombs is also really good. Okay, so that is uh, a huge get for us. 
I actually feel like we should just fight this room. We got Hive Mind out of it, which gave us Beelzebub. Holy shit, thank God we came in here. Um, and Beelzebub is a really good time to get Beelzebub, considering that um, it came on the pickup of Hive Mind, which is going to give us uh, double damage flies. Now, we're not summoning many flies. That's pretty much up to the game at this point, but this is a good pickup for us without a doubt. Been to the item room, been to the shop. We do have 99 bombs now, so we could get anything we want from the shop. Mr. Boom, not really interested. But I am interested in Mr. Second Secret Room, which provided us with essentially nothing. That was really, really bad. In fact, let's stop using bombs now and just start using uh, Swarm Protector. Swarm Protector would be so much better if it just activated at all times, but it might even be too good at that point. Okay, we get another ability to fly. Sure. I mean, I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. I think Lord of the Pit may also come with a speed upgrade, which means it's not, like, totally useless in this situation. But, obviously, after already getting an ability to fly, maybe I would be hoping for something a little different. So, we got an eternal heart to actually pop into a regular heart, to mature into a regular heart. And then, uh, goes and does me the incredible disservice of getting lost to a health down pill immediately after. An early regular uh, room here, and this is where Bumbo is going to get stacks and stacks and stacks. Beautiful. We got from first to third level Bumbo. All we need now is, uh, you know, maybe another 15 cents. We got max level Bumbo. Which is not that amazing. I know there's the, you know, the, we got a cult of Bumbo out there. He's a great character. Lots of development of this character. First he's small, then he gets larger, and then he gets very large in date. But, uh, I'd like to see a little bit more that, you know, we actually have control over. Not just regular Bumbo doing all the damage for us here. Should have a good shot at a deal with the devil. Deals with the devil, I do think, become markedly worse uh, from an arithmetic standpoint. After getting chaos, because you could be asked to pay one heart for items that are actually pretty shitty. But if you just... It doesn't have to be a deal with the devil item to be worth paying one heart for. You know, part of it is your HP. Uh, if your HP is super high, you'd pay one red heart for a, a, a much worse item, I think. And uh, another part of it is... Uh, items that are actually high quality that you can't get in your... Uh, deal with the devil normally, but you would be happy to pay one heart for. For example, uh, Godhead. If Godhead showed up, we'd be like, yeah, that's probably worth the one heart that they're asking. Okay, uh, we probably should have let Bumbo have that. You know, every penny does make a difference here. Lost Protector, it's useless until it's not, you know? Like, it's, uh... On many rooms, it does zero damage. And then on some rooms, it does quite a lot of damage indeed. I think we should blow up mushroom clusters here. You know, a chance for a uh, magic mush is huge. And we have some good pills in our rotation otherwise. I mean, as you saw from the uh, luck upgrade there, I'm very happy to have that. Oh, it's Bumbo. He should transform. All right, and then I'm going to take the other money. Beautiful. Okay, so max level Bumbo this early definitely vindicates using the Perthrow rune. Second secret room essentially contained a max level Bumbo. And we haven't cost ourselves much financially in order to make it happen. Please spit out more flies. I would love to see that happen. Now we have gotten one guppy item on this run, so we're not missing too much. Just a little bit more. We've already done the hard part. Okay, we do have a second secret room at least. As far as I'm concerned, Beelzebub should give us access to these flies, too. First mod, I make an Afterbirth Plus. You can bet on that happening. Unlimited bombs. I mean, we're kind of already at unlimited bombs. Man, this guy's taking a lot of my money right now. He's spitting out consumables, so I'm happy about that. Oh my god, he spit out stu two stone chests. What is going on on this room? Speed upgrade. This is one hell of a second secret room. There's a lot of risky business. Well, with unlimited bombs, as long as our bombs hit at least zero enemies, I'm not going to feel like we wasted it. Is he aware of what he said? Yes, he is. Okay, another fly item. Uh, smart fly at least exists. But even before we get hit, I do think it's worth taking uh, 
the Roid Rage here. Now our HP is going to be low, and I don't like that. But it, this takes us closer to spun. The speed is getting a little silly. But I still think this is, is probably worth it. As long as we don't, you know, throw our lives away. I do want to go to the shop. No doubt. Or should I just say doubt? Um, we, have, we have no real reason to not be excited about that. Homing bombs. 99 homing bombs is good. And there is our shop right there, so... Um, we should we should use dad's key. There could be a secret room on this room as well. Uh, no there can't. We've already seen both secret rooms Now we're looking uh, since we have chaos we're basically looking for anything but any damage upgrade would be huge Hey uh, HP wouldn't be the worst thing in the world another fly item Two of clubs, okay actually worthless. I don't know Maybe at this point we should just embrace the flies and just keep going you know get friend zone here now We've got Sworn Protector that actually sticks around us. I forgot that this item even existed. And uh, we'll get the hell out of here. Still low HP, but... Uh, I mean, some good stuff happening. We are basically fudged out of doing boss rush. We're probably fudged out of doing boss rush. We're going to be like a minute and a half behind schedule. We could use AWAS to speed it up, but I don't think that's as important as our... Ooh, never mind. Thank Depths XL. We can probably make it happen here. We do need to be concerned about um, our own survival, though. Now, in the last run, our damage was quite a good deal worse. But we did have... Um... Excuse me? We did have a lot of HP by this point. I think we fight the first boss... I can't believe that we have found the boss fight so quickly. So fight Brownie. Or let Bumbo fight Brownie. We'll just throw out the occasional homing bomb. Don't go into the next fight though. Oh my god, we got another guppy item. Okay, so we got plenty of time and we know exactly where we're going here. Plenty of time, my dear. Plenty of time. It does strike me that I am using, um, yeah, we don't need more bombs. Let's take pinky eye. I am using my flies to do a lot of damage, and that's not a great sign. We do still want to deal with the devil if possible, so don't, uh, don't throw your HP away right here. High Priestess. Well, we know there's not going to be a secret room there. Health down. Actually, really good to have. And I just realized I blew my teleportation card. But I still feel like this might be the right call. Uh, because this allows us to take a deal with the devil. Say, to become Guppy. Or to get anything. Because, you know, again, I don't want to reinforce the idea that we're likely to get Guppy on a deal with the devil when we have chaos. But, um, basically, it's a free deal with the devil. Which is almost on the same level... As a, uh, as a free item from Boss Rush. But I think the, the big thing right now is hopefully gaining ourselves some Spirit Hearts. If we can get another, if we can get a teleportation card, like a true teleportation card, that would be big. I don't mind spending a key. We do, we still have eight. The map is fine. Uh, and we can pretty easily tell where our special rooms are going to be now. And you know what? I, I'm really just... I gotta learn to let go of boss rush in this run. Not in every run. On many runs, it can be an extreme help. On this run, I think if we rush for boss rush, it very well could be the end of this, you know, relatively meager streak we got going here. Just because I don't I don't trust myself to avoid taking the damage necessary while also having the speed necessary to get there. Plus, I think it's extremely important we go to our shop. Uh and, and our other item room on this floor. So, let's just cool it for now. I may also just not want to take a deal with the devil, even though we could take one for free. Might be worth, you know, at least not taking a shitty deal with the devil, although it will open up this slot, and this slot could be pretty useful. Thanks for your, taking your time on this one, Bumbo. Really appreciate it. Um, another key's good. Who would have thought that this run 
would be scarier than the one that directly preceded it. Which was kind of a landmark in like the last 30 or 40 runs for being pretty bad. Temperance? Interesting card. The Fool? Changes everything, honestly. We should now go to our mom fight and try to steal an item out of Boss Rush. Because we can, we can have a, our cake and eat it too. Bomb almost totally fucked me. Now, can we beat Mom in this limited amount of time? Uh, it doesn't matter. We might as well just continue on here. Take the Fool card. Uh, Let's do it. Let's try it. How the heck do... Okay, just do one we'll Do one extra rumor. Dad's key it. There you go. You got it. Okay. We're going to have a lot of time. We would prefer not to get hit. If we're about to die, pop the Fool card. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Thanks for that bomb, Bumbo. Uh, very nearly screwed me. Okay, these... Dude, buying that fly from the shop is going to be the most important thing. If we're going to beat Mom on time, that's what's going to do it. Or that's what's going to help a great deal, at least. Tinted Rock. Spirit Hearts. Need him. We got hit before we picked up the Tinted Rock! I don't buy it. Okay, take this. We're taking an item. The Mark, Scatter Bombs, Mom's Contact, Contract from Below. These are all good. Um, I kind of feel like you might want to go for the Bombs, hilariously enough, because we have 99 of them. But instead, I'm going to go the more traditional route. I'm going to take the Mark. That was just for show right there. Um, yeah, okay. So the Mark is... It, it, that was a great boss rush. We made the right decision to rush it down. Sucks that we didn't get the deal with the devil, but we did get a deal with the devil last floor, so we might not have gotten it either way. We have to check this. You can still get guppy items there. Uh, blank card over dad's key? Nah, I'm, I'm kind of over blank card, honestly. Uh, at least for now. I, I, I feel like the chance of getting two Mega Satan runs in a row is fun, and also the guaranteed, or near guaranteed secret rooms out of, uh, out of dad's key is a fun little quirk here as well. So, this run may end up, indeed, being worse than the last run. It doesn't take much for it to be better. All we need is that guppy pickup. But, um... And I, I really did not see this... This writing on the wall. But, um... It turns out the lack of HP is, uh... Is actually pretty dangerous. Okay, don't get hit by that. That's just an embarrassment at this point. We do need to play the Judgment, even though we haven't seen our shop. We can always blow up the uh, donation machine, and if there's no donation machine, that means there's a greed, and that means we don't care about having money anyway. No, come this way. Thank you. Told you to come this way! How do you like my Steven Tyler impression? It's pretty good, huh? There's HP. That's real big. Ooh, Hierophant as well. Not bad. You know what? Why not? We don't have to do all of these rooms. And we don't have to spend bombs to not do them, either. I think these are well worth cracking. Extra keys. We'll, we'll, we'll be coming back that way. Ah, that was pretty poor. If we don't like a room, we should leave. But if we like a room, then we should do it, I think. Guppy's collar. Oh, shit, we did it. We're Guppy. Alright, this should be the win, then. And now I feel like maybe I was belly aching a little bit earlier because it turned out to be fine. And then we get sin robes. You know what? You've been really good to me. Take a few extra cents here. Just like the last round, we started to pop off like right towards the end. Um, we've already been to both item rooms, so let's just get the heck out of here. Sin robes plus the guppy completion at the end here is going to make this one, I don't want to say a foregone conclusion, but it, it's going to be like a six gone conclusion. I'm even doing my stretch as we speak. There we go. And honestly, if we uh, if we get the win here, which seems likely, I will leave this run and the last run feeling like we kind of escaped uh, some dangerous situations here. And it might not be be because the runs were bad. Like this run seems to I I probably uh, overstated how difficult it ended up being, but that was because there was uncertainty. I didn't know if we were going to get that guppy dream to come true. Um, but maybe, like, my mindset is a little off today in Isaac terms, so, uh, 
I, I'll, I'll consider that we maybe got a little lucky in making this happen. Not because the runs were totally worthless, but because maybe my play was closer to totally worthless. Uh, I'm still waiting on Small Rock, but, you know, no big deal. It's not like, um, you know, I'm really hopeful to get more damage or anything like that. It's not like that would really help me out on this run to get more damage. I mean, it's not like it's the most valuable attribute in the entire game or anything. Remote Detonator. Um, well, it's kind of a weird choice. But I think we take theirs options, and then we're at 2 HP. So we might as well take 9 lives and then take the health upgrade. And, I mean, Remote Detonator is not what we want long term. But we, we'll just pick it up for like a second here and then go back and get this. So, uh, I don't think that, honestly, we really improved ourselves very much there. But it does mean that... Wait, no, we, we didn't improve ourselves at all. We basically lost 1 HP for no reason. And I'd do it again. <laughs> Yeah, it, it provides us with actually zero value because I just remembered when you when you beat mom you don't get an item beat, or beat mom's heart I should say that was really dumb you don't get an item so I mean we got nine lives which may be semi important but I'm somewhat skeptical that we'll end up needing it but uh, I mean I guess it's reassuring to know that we didn't need to get Guppy's collar there was still another like uh, why not just kill him there was still another way out for us but apart from that we picked up three items that are probably not going to do anything for us at the cost of one red heart. So it's a great deal, except we didn't need the items to begin with. But oh well. Still stoked about how good Boss Rush ended up being. And also still stoked that um, we continue to get uh, keys out of Golden Chess. Keeping our key economy nice and flush here. There is a secret room back there. If you're wondering like what I'm doing here, basically it's like if, if I see a big room, I'm like, I don't want to do that. Why would I want to do a big room? We have the opportunity to skip them instead. Alright, well, unfortunately, sometimes this is going to happen, but... Easy enemies are easy enough to kill as is. Bumbo's a little confused, that's alright. Bumbo, you're mostly here for your raw strength, honestly. You're not here... for your tactical acumen. Huge acumen or otherwise. Are we going to do the... Hush fight? It is tempting. We do have enough money to buy something from the shop. We have Chaos. We got Guppy with uh, Hive Mind. Yeah, I think we should. I'm not on a clock right now. What do we got in here? Oh, dude, Lump of Coal would be sick. We would really benefit from that. And that's exactly what we got. Alright, this is popping off now. And go down to the Hush Fight. Hopefully we'll be able to buy a Spirit Heart down here, but... You know, we saved three keys just for having Dad's key active down here as well. So, pop this inside of our shop. Bob's brain, maybe, but not thrilled. Uh, I don't know what Pandora's box gives us here. It might be nothing, but Necronomicon is also garbage. Hold up. No, wait a minute. Both item rooms have the same items. Just mirror images of one another. What does Pandora's box give us? Nothing. Okay. Um, well, that's, that's a new one. I kind of thought maybe there were, like, some Curse of the Maze shenanigans happening there, but, uh, does not appear so. Well, what can I say? I'm a man of principles. We'll take two Pandora's boxes that do nothing. And let's go fight the boss. So that ended up being, uh, real smart. I'm really happy we went down and, uh, fought the Hush. In case you're counting, uh, we got Bob's Brain. And that's it. Well, no, that's not it, because we did get Bomb Bag as well, but also pretty not worth anything at all. That's okay, though. We got homing bombs. We got, uh, we got good flies. We got the jazz. We got the jazz. You know, we got all sorts of stuff. All we need to do is, you know, probably like every three seconds we put down a bomb... Continue firing in the general direction of our nemesis. And it should be an easy hush fight. But admittedly, I'm super bummed out that this uh, blue womb ended up being absolute trash. I'm still, like, I'm looking for an explanation as to why both item rooms had exactly the same items. And my explanation, as much as I want it to be, RNG was just hilarious. I'm still thinking maybe there's like a weird interaction, like 
Curse of the Maze and uh, There's Options somehow did it, but it doesn't make any sense because more options is the one that affects item rooms. Um, so, honestly, I have no idea whatsoever. But it's certainly a, it's a funny situation. Even better that they were in, you know, a position that was flipped vertically to one another. But it is what it is, you know? We, uh, we're gonna come out of this fight just fine. We have not yet been hit on the Hush fight, despite, uh, the fact that we're, like, 65% of the way through it. Ah, we're probably, like, 60% of the way through it, but let's not be too anal about our percentages on this one. Just wanna land some Bob's Brain shots in there. Okay, we're in a bad spot. You don't wanna be standing here while the Continuum shots come down, but luckily we were not hit somehow. This hush fight is going to make me not want to do hush fights for like a week. And that's okay. Maybe we could use a break. We've been doing them fairly uh, often lately. It's almost like they're becoming daily challenges again. But um, I, you know, take it on a case-by-case -case basis. And I thought this case was a good one. Clearly I was mistaken. Keep in mind, I do want to keep my HP high because uh, our intention is to fight uh, Hush on this one. And by Hush, of course, I mean we're already fighting Hush, so I meant to say Mega Satan. Um, if these don't hit me, I think we got them right now. And we're good. Okay. Let's get the hell out of this floor. This was like the ultimate disappointment on an Isaac run. But Bob's brain might not be completely horrible. I mean, it's not very good, but it's not completely horrible. And keep in mind, we don't have to do, like, you know, half the rooms we come across here. We could if we want to, but we don't have to. I don't know. I don't really want to do a chest at this point if we don't have to. Or I don't, want, I don't really want to do a mob trap room, I should say, at this point if we don't have to. I really thought we'd be able to get out of the way before that exploded. It's okay, though. I'm not concerned. Did find a secret room. We're gonna have to kill one of these rooms anyway, so we might as well just drop a bomb in that room. We have 61 of them. And, uh... Get the secret room that way instead of actually fighting some enemies. It's like exactly the same room over again. Does not bother me. No greed, though. No greed. Three bombs, not worth the time. We will go back for the key, though. Five keys. Well, you know what? Unless we get a Yarrow rune right here, we're not going to need five keys because we're going to be fighting Mega Satan right away. Um, but let's uh, let's do it nonetheless here. I don't know, man. I'm like a lot less enthusiastic about the quality of this run than I was enthusiastic about the quality of our last run by the end of it. But this run, I mean, it's been stronger throughout. It's been more consistently strong. It's like this run is a or this this run is a better runner, but like our last run was a much better sprinter. It was real slow and then it made up some ground at the very end. This one's been consistent throughout, but I'm not sure what benefits us the most. Curse of the Unknown is actually pretty dangerous here. We have HP, telepathy for dummies, succubus, which is the only one that's actually very helpful here, and the goat head. Um, well, we'll take telepathy for dummies in. I think we should be able to win this fight. Uh, but if we don't, at least we have nine lives. I really did not think that nine lives was going to be relevant, but... Hey, the best laid plans of mice and men, something, 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 cannery row, you know? See, I consider myself a well-read. I've read the Steinbecks and the Berensteins. Bears, that is. That's all right. One hit this early is not the kiss of death. These are the easy enemies, though. But you know what? We got Revenge Fly active. And Revenge Fly, unlike a lot of our minions, actually apparently attacks the enemy's face. So that's positive. Bumbo is real confused about this whole thing. Not quite the, um, the wild card I wanted it to be on the Mega Satan fight. That's okay. Third mod I make for Afterbirth Plus. Bumbo works against Mega Satan now. New no-nos. Okay. This is good. We got through this wave without getting hit at all. Revenge Fly is attacking the wrong part of Mega Satan, but 
That's gonna happen from time to time. We are gonna be totally fine. Might as well pop infested. Just like to stand on the 45s there. Beautiful. Don't hit me with that. We can fly so we can actually get in there. All right, so it's gonna be another Mega Satan Hush victory. It feels good in some ways and very disappointing in others based on how terrible that uh, Blue Womb ended up being. That's gonna, it shattered my worldview. But for now, uh, I'm stoked. We're, we're at seven or eight wins in a row. I'm not really gonna bother uh, with counting them too much until we get up to the at least the double digits, you know? Like, you're just asking for trouble. Nobody goes, hey, you know, the Blue Jays have won two games in a row. Get your, you know, Vuvuzelas out. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.